Welcome back to the video series on Max Revision Main Meticulous. Today, Day 6 Integration of Particular Functions. Revision, as the name suggests, means looking back over previously learned information, ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind. Five questions per day from selected topic is presented at this video series. The steps in answers are supported by the ideas given used for getting the answer. Now let us continue with integration of some particular function. Here we are seeing where dx upon root a square minus x square. In the previous uh, day, we saw dx by simply a square minus x square. It is dx upon square root of a square minus x square. It is sine inverse x by a. dx upon root a square plus x square is log x plus a root a square plus x square. dx upon root a x square minus a square is log x plus root x square minus a square plus c. How to remember the formula? When you see this uh, first one, root a square minus x square, it resembles that 1 minus x square formula, which we have already seen that it is sine inverse x. And uh, not only that, this formula a square minus x square, dx upon root a square minus x square is obtained by putting x is equal to e sin theta, a sin theta. Therefore, you are getting sin inverse x by a. Now, for the remaining two are very easy to remember. If it is root a square plus x square in the denominator, it is log x plus the square root. If it is dx upon root x square minus x square, a square, it is log x plus the square root. Very simple. Whatever there, x plus whatever there, the square root is simply put it inside the log. Therefore, root a square minus x square is sine inverse x by a because we are finding this formula by putting x is equal to a sin theta. But this formula can be remembered by the normal formula which we got in the first video that is dx upon root 1 minus x square is sin inverse x therefore dx upon root a square minus x square is sin inverse x by a. Now the technique which we have seen earlier it is of the same suppose if you have the integral of the form 1 upon root a x square plus b x plus c that is 1 upon square root of a quadratic polynomial or a quadratic factor what you have to do make the coefficient of x square as 1 that is take the coefficient of x square outside now it will come out as root a that you have to remember and uh, convert it all of you know that x square term and x term to be taken write it as x square plus the coefficient of uh, x by divided by 2 the whole square minus the square of the constant then use the formula the technique is the same but only thing is formula differs let us try with some problems now 1 upon root 1 plus 4x square step number 1 take 4 outside it will come out as 2, 1 by 2 and 1 by 4 plus x square. How to visualize this? There is no need actually here uh, to get the value of a. But anyway, I am just showing you that a is 1 by 2. Now, which formula to be applied? a is root a square plus x square. What is the formula? Log of x plus the square root. Whatever there in the denominator. In place of x, you are having x. Therefore, x plus the square root. Very simple problem. Half into log of x plus root 1 by 4 plus x square. 1 by 4 plus x square plus c. E. Let us move on to a problem where we are having dx upon root x square plus 2x plus 2. A quadratic polynomial inside the square root. The same technique. Take x square plus 2x. Write it as x plus coefficient of x divided by 2 is 1. The whole square minus the square of 1 is 1. Put it there inside the integral sign. Square root of x plus 1 the whole square minus 1 plus 2. It will become square root of x plus 1 the whole square plus 1. It is which form? It is a square plus x square form. What is that in place of x? You are having in place of x is x plus 1. Extend the formula now. Therefore, log of x plus 1 plus the square root. There is no need to expand the square root once again and show it in the exam. If you expand the square root uh, inside the square root the term and you expand, you are going to get back that x square plus 2x plus 2. There is no need for it. For it is log of x plus 1 plus the square root of x plus 1 the whole square plus 1 plus c. Let us move on to a problem where the coefficient of x square is other than 1. What you have to do? Take it out. Now it will come out as 1 by root 2 into x square plus 3 by 2x plus 1 by dividing the totally by 2 or taking 2 outside the square root. Now for x square plus 3 by 2x how to write? It is x plus coefficient of x divided by 2 is 3 by 4 therefore put whole square minus 
the square of 3 by 4 is 9 by 16 where we are putting it inside the square root of the integral now what is 1 minus 9 by 16 it is 7 by 16 now there is no need to visualize this 7 by 16 by root 7 by 4 the whole square but anyway I am writing it there is no need for it also now which formula to be used integral a square plus x square it is log of x plus the square root what is there in place of x we are having x plus 3 by 4 therefore 1 by root 2 log of x plus 3 by 4 plus the square root the square root can be to be written as it is now inside the square root you can simplify but if you don't simplify also there is no issue but you can leave it as it is let us move on to the next question where the coefficient of x square is negative you should be very careful don't try to take the coefficient of x square that is a negative number outside the square root suppose if it is minus 2x square take only 2 if it is minus 3x square take only 3 because square root inside the square root negative number is negative is number is there you cannot take that negative outside therefore we have to adjust that inside the square root only therefore I am writing it as 7 minus take minus outside it will become x square plus 6x be careful therefore how to take this x square plus 6x now it will be written as x plus coefficient of x divided by 2 that is 3 the whole square minus 3 square therefore 9 put it there inside the integral sign you have to be very careful minus sign is outside therefore minus of minus will become plus 9 for 1 upon root 7 plus 9 minus of x plus 3 the whole square so what is 16 minus x plus e the whole square now 16 can be visualized as 4 square there is no need for this in this particular type because we are going to see it as only a square root which formula to be applied the formula is root a square minus x square sin inverse x by a but here we need the value of a therefore a is 4 here only in this formula we are concerned about the value of a now what is sin inverse x by a now it is sin inverse of in place of x you are having the linear factor x plus 3 therefore x plus 3 a is 4 therefore upon 4 plus c be careful with the formula sin inverse x by a therefore sin inverse x plus 3 by 4 sometimes you may get a problem where by doing substitution it may get reduced to this type which we are dealing now now you are seeing in this integral we are having secant square we are having tan differentiation of tan is secant square therefore I start with u is equal to tan x and du as secant square dx now I can replace secant square dx as du and uh, tan square as u therefore root u square plus 4 which formula to be applied root a square plus x square formula to be applied which is log x plus the square root here it is u plus the square root over u plus root u square plus 4 now as we have already done substitution problem do substitution change the integral do the integration then do resubstitution where we are doing the resubstitution log of tan x plus root tan square x plus 4 plus c well success is dependent on effort all the best and thank you